The teachers at the Sandy Hook Elementary School had been trained to react to a threat, never expecting to use that training. ABC's Amy Robach is with us now, and she tells us what the training was and exactly what they did, Amy. That's right, Diane. We're here at Danbury Hospital where the medical staff said they felt like today must have been a lot like 9-11 because they had their entire staff waiting here in the emergency room to receive the injured. Only three arrived. The death count unimaginable. But as you mentioned, so many people are attributing that number to the heroic acts of teachers because if it weren't for their bravery, many in this community believe that number would have been even higher. For the nearly 700 students who attend Sandy Hook Elementary School, it is the teachers' words they follow day in and day out. Today, those words might just have saved their lives. This teacher went and checked. She came in, locked, closed and locked the door. They went into a corner until they were recovered by police. The teacher put everyone in a corner, locked the door, and they weren't allowed to move until the police came. Restaurant owner Vita Kala has been serving pizza to Sandy Hook teachers and students for more than 30 years. Yes, they're all heroes. Not just, but everybody's a hero out there. It does sound as though that the teachers did everything humanly possible, down to risking their own lives to protect the children in this Connecticut school. Elementary schools across the country have been preparing for lockdown drills, evacuations, and other security measures since Columbine. Just this year, Sandy Hook Elementary School put into place a security plan, making it mandatory for visitors to ring a doorbell and only be let in if staff recognized them through the video monitor. And if staff didn't recognize the visitor, he or she needed to present picture ID, sign in, and only then would be let into the school. Every time we went to the school, you always had to press the button and they'd ask who you are to come in, so I don't know how anybody could just walk in. This tweet from someone who knew teachers inside the school. Hannah Green, my cousin is the assistant principal at the Newtown shooting and was shot twice and is now in surgery. This face telling it all. This woman's sister, one of those teachers inside the school, her whereabouts unknown. There's no words that I could come up with. You don't know the details of that violence and you can't do anything to immediately help them or protect them. That is a, it is a powerless, and terrifying experience. And speaking of powerless, I just spoke to one of the doctors here who was at Danbury Hospital when they received that initial call that there were multiple shots fired at the school. He amassed 80 doctors and nurses waiting to receive any potential victims, any potential injured. And they said within the first 10 minutes, they got those initial three injured and they were waiting for more. They said as many as two dozen they were told they may be receiving within 30 minutes. When those two dozen did not show up, they said that's when they felt the gravity of the situation because they knew they weren't coming. They were at the school and, and would stay there forever. And it was a very disturbing moment for all of them and they said they're still going to be dealing with this obviously for months and years to come. This community is forever changed. No one here hasn't been touched by this horrific tragedy.